What is this monstrosity behind me? Yeah, this is called the Ihan 184. We call it 184 because it sits one person. There's a propeller eight and there's propeller. four arms. It's able to get you flight going from one place to another in a short to medium distance in a timely manner. You're actually not flying in the craft. You're actually a passenger. So before you get into the 184, you plot out where you want to go. So the central command system automatically dispatch you to that place. So no pilot necessary, and unlike a drone, you don't even need a person controlling it. It's pre-programmed from point A to point B? Exactly. Doesn't it need to know if there's something flying in front of it? A pilot needs to get it out of the way? Uh, no, it doesn't, because every single drone will get pre-plotted in the central command system. So once the 184 in the air, we want to make sure that it is in the safest route out there and there will not be a collision in the sky. I get that this is not a helicopter, but it kind of looks like a helicopter. What differentiates it from a helicopter? What other technical aspects? Yeah, when it has four arms and a propeller, um, from a design principle perspective, this is the safest way for you to uplift in the air. And we have the backup systems for each one of the propellers. So if one of the propeller um, malfunctions in the air, other ones able to calibrate and gradually descent as we go. How many people have actually been in this and it's gone up in the air with the person inside? Our testing team and uh, our employees in the company uh, have gone through strenuous of testing. Now we're not disclosing how many people, but when we go to the market, you can be sure that it has gone through all the rigorous testing needed, able to get person to fly from one place to another. Sir, has anybody been injured in this drone, even just a broken finger, the slightest type of injury at all? No. Have you gone flying in I it? I have. And when are you gonna let your kids in the drone? <laughs> uh, when the testings are done. Can I fly in it? You can go fly in it when it's ready. This only fits one person, and you say it may cost around two hundred to three hundred thousand dollars. So you can't take your family with you on a trip. People can already take helicopters. So what's the need for this helicopter? You need to have a, a much much larger stand, and you need a much larger place to land. This thing will fit into essentially two different two parking lot space. We believe that going forward, there are going to be parts of these places that's open up across the town that are able to get you from one place to another. You say in 2016 you will allow the press to come in and film, but when do you think this will actually hit the market? We believe that there's still going to be a lot of work to do to, with all the authorities, FAA and the Chinese authority and all the countries as well. Um, so once we go through that process, we'll have a better time frame on exactly when we can commercialize the service. CNN, Dubai has announced yet another pioneering initiative. But this time it's not the world's first rotating skyscraper or 3D printed office. It's a fleet of flying taxis, small enough to fit into a car parking space when folded up. The one-seater passenger drones made by Chinese company Yihang are set to start picking up passengers in July this year. According to Dubai's Road and Transport Authority, RTA, the electrically powered driverless drones, named Ehang 184, have already been seen hovering above the sand dunes near the city's airfield during test flights. The 184 provides a viable solution to the many challenges the transportation industry faces in a safe and energy efficient way, said Ehang founder and CEO Wazi Hu when the vehicle was unveiled during the 2016 CES gadget. Show in Las Vegas, the 184 is evocative of a future we've always dreamed of and is primed to alter the very fundamentals of the way we get around. The Dubai Road and Transport Authority have begun test flights read more self-driving transport strategy while the exact details of the project's logistics are yet to be revealed. Dubai's RTA says the futuristic venture is part of a strategy to have self-driving vehicles of all kinds, account for a quarter of journeys made in Dubai. By 2030, this project supports Dubai's government's direction to become the smartest city in the world. Himadar Altair, Director General of RTA, said in an email to CNN. He adds that the drones, which he refers to as Autonomous Aerial Vehicles, AAAV, are an easy-to-use innovation that can transport up to 100 kilograms, enough for one person and a suitcase on a pre-programmed route through the city.
The passenger just needs to pick the destination through a smart screen. Once inside the vehicle, and the AAV takes care of the rest. Monitored by ground control powered by eight propellers. Ehang says the 184, which stands for one person, eight propellers, four arms, will cruise at around 100 km per hour. The routes will be programmed by a ground control center through an encrypted 4G network which will monitor the flight. Awesome as it might sound to sit back and take in the view as the rest of Dubai is stuck in traffic jams. There are some limitations to the technology. With a 30-minute maximum battery time, it won't take you very far. And then there are the usual concerns about drones in busy airspaces and the safety of driverless.